Over at the Ramsey County Jail near downtown St. Paul, the guard really is changing. Former St. Paul Police Assistant Chief Matt Bostrom will be sworn in as sheriff today, succeeding four-term incumbent Bob Fletcher. Both are longtime fixtures in law enforcement in the East Metro. They were actually partners as the lead local police officials during the Republican National Convention in 2008. But they could hardly be more different. I'm okay with being out of the headlines. That's Matt Bostrom. He's 49 and he's been a cop, like his dad before him, for 28 years. He's known as a low-key, behind-the-scenes administrator. The primary principles of what I'm about and what I believe makes great law enforcement is first and foremost making sure that you provide uh, the great community policing services where you, as a leader, you don't prescribe to a neighborhood how they can be safe. You work with them. And, and you take that same principle and you work with law enforcement leaders throughout the region. It's a sharp contrast to Bob Fletcher, the man he's succeeding. Fletcher once ran for mayor in St. Paul and also campaigned to repeal the city's gay rights ordinance. He brought that same high profile to the sheriff's office in 1995. He went on to make headlines taking preemptive security measures at the Ramsey County Courthouse during the September 11th attacks and then launched his own weapons of mass destruction squad. In later years, he spearheaded a secret investigation into groups likely to demonstrate at the Republican National Convention and sent his troops onto the freeways to crack down on texting drivers. But Fletcher drew criticism from state and local law enforcement and scandal tinged his tenure as well. Two of his ranking employees were convicted on federal corruption charges. A gang unit Fletcher helped found was shut down amid more corruption allegations. At one point, he was forced to order his own son arrested on a drug charge. Fletcher declined repeated requests for interviews on his 16-year tenure. He has returned to work as a ranking officer with the St. Paul Police Department, where he worked before his first election. Bostrom was Fletcher's fourth opponent. He pledged during the campaign to clean up the department and live within its financial means. Fletcher had battled the Ramsey County Board on finances regularly and reported a quarter million dollar budget gap just last month. Along the campaign trail, I had mentioned that I'm going to hold the line on the budget for two years, and that's what I'm going to do. I think it's going to take us several months to do an inventory, to do a complete audit, and then let's run that for a few quarters. Let's run the agency for a few quarters uh, focusing on our core functions, and then really I feel like I've got a dashboard then. Bostrom says money won't be his only concern. The jail he's in charge of has been the focus of repeated criticism for inmate deaths. They include the suicide of a Villanova history professor in 2003 and a triple murder suspect in August, as well as high-profile medical-related deaths of prisoners in 2006 and 2007. Bostrom says suicides are difficult to prevent, but that he's ready to make changes. One of the first orders of business for me is to look at uh, how we're leading in that area, how we're selecting staff there, and at the same time, are there improvements that we need to make to further make that uh, the facility safe. Bostrom officially took over the office yesterday. His 500-person department covers about a half million residents. His deputies also serve as the police department for seven St. Paul suburbs, including Shoreview, Arden Hills, and North Oaks, among others. Tim Nelson, Minnesota Public Radio News.